first then board helps in reinforcing expectations, teaching sequence, and incentivizing work completion. By pairing verbal directions with visual supports, educators are providing a universal design for learning that increases student success. When using the first then board, the required task is placed first on the schedule, while the preferred activity is placed as the second part of the sequence. Welcome to our next make and take. We will be doing a first then board today. So let's do the reveal. Remember our I-phase frame that we learned about? Well, we cut out a rectangle in the middle and that's the material that we're gonna use for our first end board. So we have the center cut out that we'll reuse and then we just need a marker. Um, a dry erase marker works best. So you can use this for students who are wanting to get to a preferred task but have to complete something that's not as preferred first, just to give some visual supports of when they get to get to the preferred task. So you're just gonna take your rectangle, draw a line down the middle, like so. Very low tech. Right first on the left side, and then on the right side. Just like that. So let's say I need a student to complete a science test first before they get to do something that they prefer, which is a computer. So I'm just gonna write science test. On the left side under first, and then computer on the right side. Under then. So you can put it right on the student's desk just to serve as a visual reminder for when they get to get to the preferred activity. And don't forget, you can use pictures if you'd like to for students. You can always use objects if students need that as well, but just a low-tech way of helping students successfully complete tasks. Thank you.